PET is very strong material, and if you add some carbon fibers, maybe it's even stronger. But probably not, but the printability will be much better. Welcome to another Bamboo Lab technical filament testing video. This is PET CF, blend of uh, PET and carbon fibers, and don't mix this with the PTG. There we have that uh, glucose, which um, helps with the printability, but it reduces the strength and the stiffness. Now, I believe that the rough PET will be very hard for the printing, but with these carbon fibers, the printability is better and we will have less warping. And also, it helps with the stiffness, uh, temperature resistance and probably we have nice printing tests to this. Now about the specifications, the print temperature is between 260 and 290 degrees Celsius, the bed temperature between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. Now about the drying, on the website they have uh, information 80 degrees Celsius between 8 and 12 hours. On the spool I can see different information, it has 60 degrees Celsius between 8 to 12 hours because it has the spool which resists to temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius. I will see on which spool is it when I take it out. And the print speed is below 100 millimeters per second. Currently I also have the Bamboo Lab PPA CF filament testing in the progress. The objects are printed and I am waiting until they stabilize, they absorb some moisture from the air, so they will go closer to the stable state. And probably the most of the testings will be done together. The PET CF is less sensitive to moisture compared to the PPA CF or any other nylon. I believe that it is similar to the PETG. Let's see what's in the box. Usually they are using this kind of packaging where the filament is more sensitive to moisture. And don't forget to cut it above the ceiling line because this side is shorter compared to this one. Instructions about the print temperature and warning that it is not compatible with the AMS. End of the filament is glued and later I will check how brittle is it. Ah, and it arrives on the spool which has a temperature resistance up to 90 degrees Celsius for the drying. I set the filament right to 70 degrees Celsius and uh, I don't worry because this has the option to rotate the filament during the drying so it will not be overheated on one side. And now we measure the weight every half hour using this analytical scale. 1265.85 grams. This rotating of the spool is so nice function of the filament dryer. One hour later, no changes at all. Looks like this filament is completely dry out of the box and there is no need for further drying. I can start the printing. Just quick check how brittle is the filament. Whoa, brittle. And now let's see the different settings for this material. 270 will be at the nozzle and 80 will be on the engineering plate with the glue on it and only 8 will be the flow and this is the default part cooling. The filament is loaded and the printing will be from the filament dryer. And it will start soon. Engineering plate with some glue on it. The printing looks completely okay so far. Last two vertically printed test objects. Printing is finished, bad adhesion check, but I'm quite sure that it's fine. Mm -hmm. I wait until it cools down a little bit. And this test object looks very really nice. <laughs> Definitely I have to print a bench it too. <laughs> Five more minutes and it will be finished. Every element of this bench looks perfect. 10 side test with horizontally printed test objects and for reference I will include here the PPACF data and this is now the layer adhesion with vertical imprinted test objects good layer adhesion very strong material with especially good layer adhesion and actually I like this rate also the tensile strength is uh, maybe a one two times stronger compared to the layer adhesion but this is no big difference see this means less sensitive to the orientation of the printing for shared tests I have the horizontally and vertically printed test objects with the same dimensions I'm starting with vertically printed, where the layer adhesion is important. And now switching to the crane scale, which has the maximum of 500 kilograms, but I also have some upper limit. <laughs> Extremely strong in horizontal direction. 
torque or twist test with the horizontally and vertically printed test objects. These are horizontally printed and I'm recording the load and 90 degree rotation and the maximal load, but here it was equal. Vertically printed usually snaps suddenly, so I can record here the maximal load only. It is interesting to see that we have very similar numbers, but a different type of the brake. So this printed in vertical position break more suddenly. Three point bending test where I'm recording the deformation under these loads, which I place one by one. And I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. Correctly, you can see the deformation under 2.5 kilograms. And also I included here the annealed version. Later we talk about the annealing. And this is the last one with the 10 kilogram load. And slightly more deformation on annealed object. The temperature test in the oven and I have two materials here. This is PPA CF and this is PET CF. Now both materials can resist to the temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius according to specifications, which is very close to the upper limit of my equipment. But uh, approximately at this temperature I will stop the experiment and I want to see how hard are these materials. One interesting thing I noticed on nylon I can move much easier this metallic nut compared to the PET CF. So here we have much bigger friction compared to this one. Maybe you saw this footage with the PPACF video. The PET CF started to deform on 120 degrees Celsius and I got many suggestions there to try to annealing this material and you will see it's different. 207 degrees, I'm stopping the experiment now. And interesting that uh, according to specification it could withstand the, the temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius, this PET CF. PPA is completely hard, PET CF is hard too, but it has quite big deformation. No visible damage on the surface, but as you can see, quite a lot of deformation. The impact test, I'm not really sure what to expect here. The filament itself is brittle, but I'm not sure what is the case with the printed object. PET CF. Zero position. Looks like it is tougher compared to the Bambula PS6 filaments, but I have to analyze the footage to see how it compares to the PPA. Well, actually the toughness is very similar to PS6 or PPSCF materials. The creep test the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kg, and I will do parallel this test. This is the PPACF nylon and this is PETCF. I already measured them, just a slightly more deformation on the PET compared to the PPA. Both materials perform good in this test and the additional deformation of the PET CF compared to the day zero, the initial deformation is only 0.2 millimeters. And now let's remove the load. PET CF. Even the measurable permanent deformation is very minimal on this test object. I decided to try the annealing too, even if it is not directly mentioned on the product page. But I got several suggestions in the comments in the previous video when I mentioned that I will test this element too. The oven is preheated to 110 degrees Celsius. And I inserted the objects which will be annealed exactly in the same position as they are printed. And the timer is set to 2 hours. The objects cool down together with the oven. And visually I cannot see any deformation on them. Even for the filling they are very dry now. And pretty again I forgot to measure the weight before and after this annealing, but let's do the mechanical testing. Horizontally printed test objects. Vertically printed, the layer adhesion. The temperature test in the oven and uh, as always I have several tests in the progress. This is PET CF of course. These are different PETG ABS filaments and I removed them after 120 degrees because here I'm going much higher. 210 degrees Celsius. Hmm, this is completely hard and it looks like it is straight. I will analyze it later when it cools down. Side by side, without annealing, it started with deformation on 120 degrees Celsius and this one no deformation even on 210 degrees Celsius. Visually there is no deformation on this test object, completely straight, there is no gap below it. And let's repeat the impact test with annealed object. Zero position. This means after the annealing it became more brittle material. And now let's see the results. This exercise table you can download from mytechfun.com website 
And for my Patreon supporters, I'm adding this one line without any link to that summary table, so they can easily compare this data to those which I did in earlier videos. But for the reference for this video, I'll include the data for PPACF from my previous video. It's not fair comparison because this is very strong material and you may get the feeling that the PET-CF is weak. No, it's not. It's very strong if I would compare it with some ABS. Only I'm comparing it here with the, one of the strongest material I tested so far. Anyway, let's start with the creep test. And uh, here you can see the distance between two reference surfaces. And this is very small deformation. Th that's a pity that I'm not including here the ABS results. It would be much higher. And this is very strong in this test too. And actually the difference between two days we can see here and look at this scale. This is 0.02 millimeters, extremely small deformation during the time. On the tensile test, here I have the annealed version too. And uh, the annealing uh, didn't make any significant difference here. And the PPACF is stronger in this type of the test. On the layer adhesion, actually the PET-CF is stronger compared to the PPA. The annealing helped a little bit, but uh, the difference is not significant. On uh, shear stress, I have horizontally and vertically printed test object. And again, compared to the PPA, this is weaker, but actually I think this is the third strongest material in this type of the test. It is very rare that I have to use that crane scale, which can measure over 200 kilograms. On vertically printed test objects, even if the PET-CF has better layer adhesion, the difference was not big and PPA was a little bit stronger. Three-point bending test, and uh, here we have the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. Smaller values are better, of course, but uh, maybe this is more interesting. And yes, PPACF is much stronger here, the best in this kind of test, but uh, this is not bad too. Now, annealing, uh, it didn't help here, so without annealing, it's a little bit stiffer material, but very strong in this test. On torque or twist test, well, the load at 90 degree rotation is more important for me. And here again, we can see some bigger difference between these two materials, but even this is very strong. With the vertically printed test object, uh, here the, it's more brittle, it breaks more suddenly, and the difference is much smaller here, but again, very strong in both cases. On ISO impact test, uh, without annealing, very similar toughness with uh, PET-CF and PPACF. Now, after annealing, the material became more brittle. And on a temperature test, I think this is the most important reason why we would like to do the annealing, because without annealing, the PET-CF started to deform on 120 degrees Celsius. After annealing, it didn't start with deformation even on 210 degrees Celsius. Here I stopped the experiment, and it was still completely hard. And let's not forget the price, and I calculate the price for one kilogram. Here we have huge difference. The PET-CF is much cheaper compared to the PPACF. I think I have to repeat myself, and maybe not the best comparison with PPACF material, because you may get the feeling that this is a weak filament, but you can compare these results to any of my previous videos, choose some Pembola ABS, for example, and you will see how strong is it actually. And uh, just uh, shortly compared to the nylon, this is less sensitive to moisture. And this is strong, stiff filament with good layer adhesion and with very minimal creeping. The price is also good compared to the PPACF. Two and a half times cheaper is the PET-CF and almost don't have a weak point. But if you want to get that temperature resistance from the specifications, in that case we have to anneal the filament, but with this it became more brittle. But this was my experience with PET-CF filament. And in the meantime, the ASACF filament arrived and uh, it will be tested in one of my next videos. Until then, thank you for watching and don't forget to click the notification bell button too, because uh, usually the notification is not sent to my regular subscribers only. That will be it from my side. Thank you for watching and happy printing.